Hello everyone. Today we will see a fungus growing out of caterpillar. It's me, Miyasa Goomba. Yes, a caterpillar fungus. Miyasa Goomba. On the Tibetan Plateau, three to five thousand high, in Tibetan Himalayan region of Bhutan, India and Nepal, lived a caterpillar of ghost moth. In Tibet, it is called Yartsa Gumbu, meaning summer grass, winter worm, Yartsa Gumba in Nepal, Kira Jar in India, and so on. The caterpillar lived 15 centimeter below ground, roaming here and there, eating plant roots, and keeping itself warm, completing their life cycle until they turn adult moth. The caterpillar lives happily until there comes a fungus named Ophicordyceps sinensis, an entomopathogenic fungus. Yes, yes, yes. The caterpillar is most vulnerable to the fungus after sheeting their skin during late summer. The caterpillar gets infected with fungus, kills the larva, and mummifies it. Oh no, I am dead. The infected larva tends to remain underground, vertically to the soil, with their heads up. The fungus ruptures the host body and grows upward. Dark stalk-like fruiting body to emerge from the soil to complete the cycle. The fungus now has two parts. Dendro 1, fungal endosclerodium within the caterpillar and second stroma, upper fungal part, and is dark brown or black. It pops through the soil to send out its spores, which infect other caterpillar, and the cycle of life and death continues. Now let's see the importance of Yarsa. Yarsa Gumba is celebrated in traditional medicine for its special healing abilities, known as Himalayan treasure, with health-boosting properties. This rare fungus is like a treasure in Himalayan region. It is important for everyone to be careful not to take too much of it. We must also look after the places where it grows so it can keep helping people and nature. We must make sure everyone is happy, people and the environment. Remember, the fascinating world of Yarsa is a delicate balance between nature and interaction. It brings important money to support families and communities. Yarsa Gumba is incredibly valuable due to its scarcity. Because it is so hard to find and collect, it costs a lot when people buy it. It is like a superhero for plants in the mountains. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoy it. Please like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos.